All tied up at two between the Mariners and the Angels. This one is brought to you by DraftKings. The last video I did on these two teams was like 15 minutes long. It was the brawl. It was incredible. And since then, they have split and gone their own separate ways. Seattle winning, becoming one of the top teams in the AL. The Angels... The exact opposite, but they're all knotted up at two here, so it's even as we speak, and it's the ninth inning, and Cal Raleigh is up, and 0-1, 0-2, Aaron Loop has him where he wants him, gets him to ground out to third for the first out of the inning, two more, push it to extras, see what you can do, have a little fun, Sam Haggerty up at the plate, take strike one. Ball inside. Almost gets that back foot with the slider. Ooh, that one does get his back foot, but he swung, and he look at him just sitting there like a little kid, like, what? Laz helps him up like the man Laz is and fouled it into his own right leg. That had to hurt. Then the count goes two and two, and then he hits one, and he's going to be on the base paths now with the hurt leg and all. That was a hot shot down the third base side. That's the go-ahead run on first. And you got Santana coming up. That pitch in the dirt. Is he going to go to second? No. Catcher says, I'll throw you out anyway. Ooh. 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 Ew. He gets the second. So, (laughs) clapping. That's the first kind of what? The ball scoots away from the catcher. He says, you know what? I'll stay here at first. I'm not going to risk it. I guess no one on the Angels yelled, eat it, or no, 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 or whatever, or they yelled it and the catcher didn't care because he turns around and is like a gunslinger mode and then isn't even close to the base. And now the runner's like, all right, okay, if you want me to be on second, I'll go to second. Jeez. Catcher throws it. Oh, shit. Clapping on second base. And then the very next pitch, he steals third, which is just a bit diabolic for me. Jesse Winker with the little kid up and down dance and smile. He's excited. Catcher thinking, you son of a bitch. You knew that I was down and out. I was in my feelings about the last play. And you were going to take advantage of that. Damn. Ruthless. So now the infield comes in because that's the go-ahead run on third. And they'd rather get him out than getting out at first base. The priority is to get that runner out. But Loop loses Santana, walks him on the 3-1 pitch, so he's going to go to first base. Now you have first and third, which makes it very interesting. Nevin's thinking, okay, what do we do here? Because the, the thing you have to ponder, and they pinch run Santana, they get Dylan Moore out there, so more speed on the base paths, because what you have to decide here is if you're the manager of the Angels is how are you going to play your infield now as Julio comes up because a double play gets you out of the inning, but then you would have to risk allowing the runner on third to score. So do you keep the infield in? Do you put them back in the middle so they can turn the double play? They have speed in both runners and Julio and Dylan Moore. They decide, no, we're just going to keep the infield all the way in. We're going to shift a little bit because he's a righty, but we're going to try and get the runner at third instead of trying to get the double play. And inside to Julio, first pitch. The next pitch, inside again, 2-0. Usually a count they're going to swing at. Does. He hits it right into the shift. They shifted him perfectly, but he doesn't catch it. He blocks it. That's okay. He's still got the play at home. There's no force, so we got a little rundown situation. And, oh, my God, he lets him score, and he goes there. And what just happened? happened let's go hell yeah hell yeah Crawford's pumped up let's go Loop's thinking what just happened Nevin's thinking what just happened these fans are thinking oh my god it's happening again this little kid down in front of them just like oh, come on guys you're breaking my little heart this fan like every fucking time oh so here's what happened it's actually kind of interesting I was playing it slow a lot because things went wrong, but it's kind of a bad predicament. So hot shot right at him, almost hits Loop, right? So Loop gets his bell rung a little bit. He doesn't catch it. And if he catches it, it's probably just one out because it's good base running by both base runners. On the line drive, you freeze and look at him. 
They both freeze. If he catches it, they probably both get back to the bag, and that's one out. He doesn't catch it. He knocks it down. Now, by the time he picks it up, look, by the time he picks it up, you're thinking, okay, like this guy on first is dead. Could they get the double play? But no one's covering. He'd have to catch it and throw it. Julio would be safe, and the go-ahead run would score. So double plays out. That's not their plan anyway. Their plan is to get the runner at home immediately, which he does. He picks it up and throws it home. But here's the problem here. In a rundown, the people responsible for backing up home plate are the first baseman and the pitcher. Now, the first baseman, he's staying at first in case he decides to just get the runner out at first. So we got him staying home at first base. And you have the pitcher, Loop, he kind of got his bell rung a little bit. He doesn't know what's going on. He go, He's pointing at him like, get the out at second. And when he comes home, Loop ducks. And now that the play's home, you see the first baseman. Now he bolts home. And he sprints. He just doesn't get there in time. Meanwhile, Loop, uh, the pitcher, he slips and falls. So neither of them are going to beat the runner to home plate to back up. So third baseman says, all right, no one's there. Let's go get the runner at third. And the problem there is Squid and the second baseman are both running, but they're watching the play and not really getting to the bag. And Squid kind of like breaks it down right here, goes through the motions. He doesn't realize the runner's behind him, so he's not even at the bag when he fields that throw. So he's safe. So I just don't know. I don't know. Everyone should... Should have got to the bag better. They should have talked more. But the not the no backup at home plate is a little circumstance of the situation. The double play, the out at first still being an option, loop not being the most athletic and slipping, and everyone's safe in the run scores. And it's awful. And now you're in the same situation. First and third with one out, except now you don't have the lead anymore. They get another ground ball. They play the infield in. You just go home. You get the out. Oh, no. He slid into the glove of the catcher, which knocked the ball loose so they don't get the out. Phil Nevin's like, oh, my goodness, what have I, what is this? Man, you see a lot of catchers tag with two hands, but he did have to extend, and when he extends, he just, I don't know, tags too hard. The ball wasn't secure. Brutal. Now Winker's up, and he's going to hit the ball to third again, and again they don't get the out at home. Three times in a row they played the infield in. They got the grounder or the hot shot to the infielder, but they don't get it. This time his right cleat just doesn't grab grass and slips, which killed too much time. He gets the out at first, a little bang on the ground like, damn. Now J.P. Crawford's up. You saw how fired up he was before, and he just flips that ball over the shortstop's head. They're running because there's two outs now, and that is another run. And now it's 6-2, to two, all on, like, good infield positioning, bad infield execution, and they take the pitcher out and say, hey, not really your fault. I don't, I don't know how to handle this. And the Mariners fans are pumped up, and that is... One of the more bizarre ninth innings you'll see. But from a team that's given you a a lot of that same emotion. You saw the fans there. This one was brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring the video. I appreciate you. Mariners fans, congratulations. Angels fans, 